Hey guys, it's Friday, it's Friday, it's Friday, it's Friday, it's Friday. We made it. We made it through our first whole week of learning at home through our computer and online. How crazy is that? I know you guys have been home for a few weeks now, but this is like the first time you've actually seen this ball every day and I've taught you hopefully a little bit of something through the computer. So crazy, right? All right, so we are going to get started on our uh, fourth lesson for math. So go ahead and get out those worksheets and we're going to work through these together. Um, I'm also going to have you guys pull out the cubes that I sent home with you guys as part of your packets. Okay, so I will show you what I mean. Let me get myself situated here. All right, so there's Miss Ball. There's our worksheet. And I want you guys to pull out the bag of cubes. That everybody should have received as part of their packet. Um, some of you, um, Miss Prescott mailed your packets to you, the rest of you I brought them. Um, so hopefully you have these guys. Um, if you don't, please, please, please tell mom or dad or whoever you're staying with today um, to email Miss Ball and say, I don't have any cubes and I will figure out a way to get them to you, okay? Either by mail or I can drop them off at your mailbox or whatever. Um, but we really need to make sure we have our, our materials so we can do our activities a little bit better, okay? All right, so what we're gonna do, first of all, is we are back to combining things and not people, all right? So instead of circling different groups or different sets of people doing two different things, we have two different colors. That's the easiest way to figure out what our two sets are. So today I'm going to use my red marker um, and I'm going to go ahead and circle my two groups. Okay, so here's group one or set one and set two. Now, what I would like for you to do is I would like for you to go ahead and get out your crayons or your color pencils um, and let's go ahead and color this cube train to match the sets that we have. All right, so we've got this set and we've got this set. Okay, so they have taken one red cube and one blue cube. And what they've done is they have put them together. Can I see? So one red and one blue, and they have put them together. They have connected them, okay? So looking at our worksheet, we can say that one red plus one blue equals how many cubes all together? Two cubes all together. Okay, one red, one blue. One plus one equals two. Okay, let's flip on into the inside here. Oh, look, they're using different colors. Um, they're using different colors, but we're going to continue using our red and blue colors. Um, but I am going to get out my markers and try to match their colors at least. Okay. All right. So in your first little problem here, we have two different sets. What you're going to do, I'm going to switch over to my black marker so I don't get confused. Go ahead and circle the two sets. And we know that they're two different sets because they're two different colors. Okay, so here's your first set and your second set. All right, now get your cubes out and we're going to build this. We're going to use red and blue even though they used orange and blue. All right, so how many are in your first set? How many? Just one. And how many are in your second set? 
two. So we can say one is going to join with two. All right, so looking at our numbers now. How many in your first set? One plus how many in your second set? Two. One plus two equals what? Let's count. One, two, three. Three all together. Is that what we made with our cube train? One, two, three. Very good. All right, so we're going to go ahead and slide down here to the bottom. Go ahead with your pencil, circle the two sets. One set, two sets, okay? All right, again, we don't have yellow and green. We have red and blue, all right? So how many in your first set? How many? One. And how many in your second set? Three. We're going to put one and three together. All right. We're going to fill in those, those numbers. How many in your first set? One. How many in your second set? Three. One plus three equals how many? One, two, three, four. How many in all? Four. Is that what we got? Four. Very good. All right, here we go. Moving right along. All right, so they have used red and yellow. They've used red and yellow, but I am going to use red and blue. All right, I wish I had all these fun colors. I wonder where they got those fun colors from because I only have red and blue in these sets. All right, so how many in your first set? Actually, before we get started, go ahead and circle those sets. Getting ahead of myself. Circle the sets. Here's your first set, and here's your second set. Okay? All right, so now how many in your first set? Four. Plus how many in your second set? one. And we're going to join those together. We're going to join those together. So four plus one equals how many? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. How many all together? Five all together. Okay. Now looking at the bottom, number four, the blue flower looks very similar um, to the problem above it, except they switched the groups, right? So go ahead and circle your groups. Here's your first group. Here's your second group. How many in that first group? One. Plus how many in your second group? Four. We're going to join those together. equals how many all together. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. All right. Look at yours, look at mine, make sure it looks the same. Let's flip over to the back. Ah, we've gotten to the mid of our middle of our chapter, mid chapter checkpoint. All right. Number one, the apple. They want us to circle the two sets and fill in how many in those sets. So here's your first set. Here's your second set. There were two dogs. Another dog joined them. 
All right, they don't want us to tell how many in all, they just want to tell us how many in each set. So how many in the first set? Two, what's this sight word? And, and then how many in the second set? One, two and one more. Now if they wanted, if, if we wanted to tell them how many in all, how many in all? Three. All right, so here we have our sets that are different colors instead of objects or people or animals. How many in the first set, that yellow set? Five. What does this symbol mean? Plus, you're joining them together. How many in your second set? Three. So let's read this. Five plus three. Now, if we were to answer that one, how many would it be? Eight. Very good. All right. So down at the bottom, they have some cubes. And they want to know how many cubes are in all when you put them together. How many in all? So let's draw the circle the first set. Let's circle the second set. Now, if you were to join them together, how many would you have in all? You would have two in all. You do have two in all. All right, so look at your paper, look at mine, make sure they match, make sure they're the same. All right, that is all I have for you for your math page for today. It's Friday, it's Friday. I want you to go outside and I want you to go do something fun. Go count how many birds fly over when you're outside. Count how many times you hear a car drive by. Um, jump on one foot ten times, jump on the other foot ten times. Uh, I don't know, run around and act like one of these puppy dogs we've seen on our pages. All right. I want you guys to have a great weekend. Thank you for hanging out with me to do math. You're going to head on over to iReady, do a math lesson, at least 20 minutes. I will see you soon. Have a good weekend. I love you. Um, see you soon. Bye.